Today in New York City, Samsung just announced its latest flagships for this fall, the Note 10 and now the Note 10 Plus, which is a first for the Note lineup. There's actually two different variants. And so we went out to New York City to the Samsung Unpacked event and decided to check them out for ourselves to give you our first impressions of these devices. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Back in March, we saw the new redesign for the display with the Samsung Galaxy S10 lineup with an edge-to-edge -edge display, but instead of a notch that spreads across the forehead of the phone like the iPhone, there was a small cutout for either the single or dual camera setups in the top right corner. With the Note, that camera cutout has actually been moved to the front and center of the phone, and I think this is a much better overall experience. Since it was in that top right corner on the S10 lineup, whenever you would swipe down from that corner to access the notification panel, you would actually smudge up the camera. So this is kind of nice that it's in the center because I generally do not swipe down from the center and it's just kind of less in the way. The Note 10 now comes in two different sizes, the standard 6.3 inch full HD model and the new Note 10 Plus carries a 6.8 inch QHD display. Both displays are dynamic, AMOLED with Samsung's Infinity O design, but I'm not sure I totally agree with Samsung basically charging you more for a higher resolution display when the previous Note models were already QHD. It would have been nice to see both models carrying the same display quality. Resolution is not the only major difference between these two devices, however. There's also an additional camera on the Note 10 Plus, giving you a whopping four camera setup on the back, as opposed to the standard Note 10's triple camera setup. The cameras are now in ultra-wide, wide-angle, telephoto, and depth vision camera, which will focus primarily on depth of field photos in portrait mode. There's also that previously mentioned single 10 megapixel camera on the front. As far as internals go, both phones run the same octa-core processor, but the Note 10 will only come with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage, while the Note 10 Plus will offer 12 gigs of RAM and a 256 or 512 gigabyte variant. There is unfortunately no expandable storage via micro SD available anymore with the new Note 10 lineup. Finally, the Note 10 Plus also features a 4300mAh battery over the standard Note 10's 3500mAh battery. The form factor is interesting because even though this is a very large device, it's really thin and light, and so it doesn't really feel that bad at all to hold and use. I'm really glad that Samsung decided to flatten the edges of the display instead of going with its usual curved approach. I think this is what makes using this very large device a lot easier. It's definitely a premium feeling phone too, and just looks pretty stunning overall. One last thing to point out about the design, Samsung finally followed suit and removed the headphone jack from the Note 10. Samsung was one of the final holdouts, with LG being one of the last major OEMs to still include this 3.5mm connection. For now, at least. Now, the Note lineup is definitely geared towards performance and productivity, and so it really wouldn't be a Note device without the inclusion of the S Pen. And one of the major new features of the S Pen is the new and improved handwriting to text feature. You can now write down some notes and then have your phone instantly convert that handwriting to digital text and can now be exported to a variety of different formats, including Microsoft Word. Users will have the ability to also change the text and color size on the fly as well. If you're a MacBook and Note combo user and somebody who really wants to use Dex but didn't want to buy an external monitor in order to use that feature, you're going to like the new Dex for PC feature that's introduced with this lineup. Dex now works with your Windows, PC, or Mac. All you have to do is plug it directly into your Mac via USB and can now drag and drop files between devices, use mobile apps with your Mac's keyboard and mouse, etc. I think we will do a more in-depth video on this feature as soon as we get our review units, so be sure to leave a comment letting us know what you want to see in that video. With such a powerful device, the Note lineup also takes aim at content creators. The Note 10 has a live focus video mode giving you the ability to have depth of field in your videos, which is a great feature for those who like to get a little more cinematic with their footage. Some other interesting features include the AR Doodle and 3D scanner capabilities. AR Doodle allows users to draw on people or objects in real time, and then those dynamic drawings or effects will be tracked to that image. It's a pretty cool feature, but not entirely sure how useful this will be in day-to-day -day use. 3D Scanner, on the other hand, might be a bit more useful for some, as 3D Scanner takes advantage of the Note 10 Plus's depth vision camera and can scan an object and then instantly turn that object into a movable 3D rendering. As I said before, the Note lineup is about productivity and powerful, fast performance, and so users can also expect to take advantage of the super-fast 45-watt charging, 
wireless power share, which turns the back of the device into a wireless charger for other phones, headphones, and watches. And there will also be a super fast Note 10 Plus 5G variant coming to Verizon later this month for incredibly fast 5G speeds. Last month, we were able to check out Verizon's incredibly fast 5G network in Chicago. And so if you wanna see that video and what you might expect if you pick up the Note 10 Plus 5G variant, go ahead and click on the video in the top right corner. The Note 10 will start at 949, while the Note 10 Plus will begin at 1099, with pre-orders going up at 12.01 a.m. Eastern. So go ahead and let us know in the comment section down below what you think of the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our full comparison video between the iPhone and the new Note 10, as well as the Note 10 Dex Mac feature that they just announced today as well. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.